Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I actually just got out of an interview. It's Friday afternoon and the interview went really well. It was a second interview with a company that I really want to work for and have a career with and a job with. So I'm really excited for it and I think it went really well. But it's Friday and I thought I would just start off a vlog right now. I am actually about to go to Trader Joe's right now because my friend Maya went yesterday and the pumpkins are out. And I want a little pumpkin for my center island area. I have this plant there, but that's like my year round plant when there's nothing else going on or there's no holiday. So since it's now the middle of September, I feel like it's okay for me to have a pumpkin out now. Heck, I might even bring out my fall scented candles. I feel like when it's halfway through September, that's when it's, it's fall time. So I'm excited, I'm gonna go do that. And I need some more chlorophyll from Whole Foods, so I'm gonna go get that. But that's the only two things I'm probably gonna purchase. I feel like it might be weird going into Trader Joe's and only getting a pumpkin. So maybe I'll get some more frozen mango or something. I've been making this really good smoothie in the afternoons as like an afternoon snack, like after lunch, between lunch and dinner. And it's so good, I have to share it with you. So maybe I'll get some more frozen mango so I can sip on that smoothie for the next few weeks. I'm going to make a little yogurt bowl with some fruit and granola and then we'll head to Trader Joe's to get my pumpkin. And I'm gonna make it such a goal this year to carve a pumpkin because I never have in my life carved a pumpkin and I feel like I always try and make an effort to carve a pumpkin and then before you know it, it's literally October 31st and I haven't carved a pumpkin. So this year I'm gonna carve one because I've never done it before and it needs to happen. Just a little thought that I had, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna <laughs> wait until the middle of October to carve a pumpkin, but I'm gonna go get that pumpkin centerpiece because it lasted pretty long last year when I got one. So, yeah. So this is my little yogurt bowl using unsweetened, so delicious, some pineapple, this purely Elizabeth original granola, and then some blackberries. I guess um, I did grab a couple other things other than the pumpkin I grabbed some of these elote corn chip dippers so I got some of those got some of this chunky guacamole to go with these this combo honestly just incredible and then I got two pumpkins I was planning on getting the orange and white striped looking ones but I found two, I need to like try and wipe that off to make it look perfect, but I thought that this stem was so cute. So I got two of them, like one bigger one and one small one for my center island. I'm gonna try and get this like off, but if it doesn't come off, oh, it looks like it will. But I think these were literally the cutest little pumpkins. So I got these. And then in the checkout line, I had to get these. They're so cheap too. These little candles. Um, I got the vanilla pumpkin and then the honey crisp apple. I originally was just gonna get the vanilla pumpkin, but the guy was like, okay, no, 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 you need to try this because I promise you're gonna want this one over that one. And it smells really good, so I just got both. I couldn't decide. I didn't wanna just get one. I mean, they're like three bucks. So I got two of these and I'm gonna put one out now. 
And that's all I got from Trader Joe's, which was the smallest Trader Joe's haul I've ever done in my life. And from Whole Foods, I mainly went for chlorophyll. I got my chlorophyll drops. I needed a re-up on this. And what's crazy is I stopped taking chlorophyll for like a few weeks and I was like, why do I wake up feeling so exhausted? Almost like I got like hit by a bus every single day of my life. And I feel like once I became like unemployed and I had more downtime and more time to kind of like rest, I was still feeling that way. And I was like, why am I feeling this way? And I kept like looking up things online, trying to figure it out. I was looking it up and it was saying that, I was like, why do I feel so exhausted? And it was saying, I'm by like no means a doctor. I was just like trying to rule things out. It was saying that you could have like low iron levels, low vitamin D, low um, vitamin B. So I was like thinking, I was like, what was I taking before that like made such a difference? And this has iron in it. So I don't want to like automatically assume that I'm iron deficient, but my energy is back since restarting up on the chlorophyll drops. So I started taking them again. I had a little bit left in my container and I just finished it this morning. So I knew I needed to go pick up more, but it's crazy what this does for your energy. I don't know if it's the iron. I still do want to go get like my vitamin levels checked, I guess. I don't really know the term, but I definitely want to go get some stuff checked. So got this. I also got my favorite brand of chips. I got this sea salt, um, the Siete sea salt, and then the Siete sea salt and vinegar, and it's so good. These have really good ingredients. They're all dairy free, and um, they are cooked or made with avocado oil, which is a really good oil. And then I also got some bitchin chipotle sauce, the chipotle flavor, I guess. Um, and this is an almond dip, and it's really good on vegetables honestly chips like stepping up a meal prep if you have like just a plain meal prep of like ground turkey like vegetables and rice if you like drizzle this on top it's just so good it's really nice to add to um a lot of different meals and it's um dairy free so that's all i got i'm gonna set up my little island and i'm gonna put these pumpkins out and i'll show you guys what um it looks like when i'm done okay this is how i set them up this stem is so cute to me I think I'm gonna swap out this candle. I honestly just took a photo with it um, there, but I think I might put out maybe the Honeycrisp apple. And then once that runs out, I'll put out the vanilla pumpkin. So I think I'm gonna swap this one out. I got it from Anthropology last year and it smells so good. I also got another one last year. It's the Sweet Vanilla Cinnamon. This candle smells so, so, so good. So I got them both from Anthropology last year, and I'm sure they have them again this year. They have them every year, but Anthropology has the best fall scented candles. So I saved these from last year and didn't really burn through a lot of them. I kind of only lit them on special occasions. <laughs> they are a little bit pricey. I think they're $22 and they're kind of small, but they smell so good and they smell up the whole entire house. Okay, I just changed, put on a sweatshirt and some biker shorts. This is what I like wearing when I go and walk on the treadmill for like 30 minutes because it really helps me sweat. So I just prefer to work out in like a sweatshirt. And then when I come back to my apartment and do like the at home workout portion with like weights or Pilates or whatever I'm deciding to do, I will take this off and um, just work out in like a sports bra and biker shorts. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna head down to my apartment gym get a good walk in and then come back up and do the at home stuff, take a shower and then cook dinner. It's a lot later in the day, it's around one o'clock. I actually didn't vlog this morning because Christian and I filmed a fun video this morning and I think I'm gonna upload it before this vlog. 
so I'll link it I always forget which side it's on so I'll link it up here in like a little card if you want to click it and check it out I'll also link it down below or you can go back to my channel and um, you'll see it there but I filmed that video this morning with him and now I need to upload a video today but I just it takes forever for it to upload for some reason so I usually have to upload videos overnight so I don't know if I'm gonna post it today or tomorrow but I still have to finish editing it then I want to upload that footage that I filmed this morning and go through that and um, get that ready to upload as well but um, I'm gonna do that right now and then my friend Taylor called me just a little bit ago and she asked me if I wanted to go lamp shopping with her at home goods so I think I'm gonna do that in a little bit when she um, is ready to do that. So I'll probably pick up the camera when we head to Home Goods. It's a little bit later in the day. I went to Home Goods with Taylor and we got her lamp. I showed some clips. Home Goods literally looked like Halloween threw up in there. Um, the eight count grilled nugget meal. Eight count grilled nugget meal, please. Okay, um, we were just ordering at Chick fil A and we had like five different types of sauces that we wanted. But, um, the lighting. But, um, or I'll block it for you. We have to both block it at the same time. And then I've just been uploading a video. I've been waiting to upload it. It's almost seven o'clock and it's like checking things it's checking um it's like going through the process and it's just taking a long time for it to check if it's like okay oh it's good i'm gonna post it right now but um that's just what i've been doing all day today it's been kind of rainy and gross outside and cloudy and in and out of rain so just a chill day and then tomorrow is the seven hours of commercial free football yeah, I don't really have any plans for tomorrow other than just chilling. I'll probably start editing the video that I filmed this morning, tomorrow. So, and then I need to wash my hair because it's been a few days. It's kind of um, on the out, but. Okay, Chick-fil-A haul. I get the grilled nuggets and fries, and then I also get the zesty buffalo sauce, but I forgot that we had this primal kitchen buffalo sauce which is so good and all the ingredients are really clean and i don't know exactly what oh wait no i do know what exactly is the ingredients on here i mean not the best definitely next time you are at your grocery store pick this up if you like buffalo sauce or dipping anything in there just the cleanest ingredients very clean compared to all of that so I'm gonna eat, and then I got a few packages over there that I'll show you. Okay, just finished eating some Chick-fil-A, and these are the packages. Christian knows how much I love the Road lip balm, so he surprised me with purchasing these for me. I love all, these are like hard to show. I love all three of the scents, so there's unscented, salted caramel, and watermelon. And I really love the unscented. Everyone raves about that one, but I think my absolute favorite one is probably the watermelon. But they're all really good and I highly recommend. They're probably my favorite lip balms. I don't think I can live without it. I, you should see my tube that I have. It's literally squeezed to like thinnest. It could go just to try and get every last bit of the product out. So I got more of these and I'm really, really excited about that. And then I needed more coffee beans. So I got the La Colombe Nisa. I really love the Alfred beans, but it's almost double the price of this. And since I'm currently unemployed, I really can't justify spending that much on coffee beans right now. So once I'm employed, I will probably be purchasing the Alfred beans because I literally loved them and Christian loved them too. But La Colombe has really good beans as well and they're really affordable and you don't have to pay for shipping or anything like that. And that's what got me with the Alfred. You have to pay like $11 for shipping and it just became just really expensive. I still have a few beans in here. These are the Alfred beans. Also, I just ran out of 
my greens. I drink these greens every day and I've been drinking them every day for since January, honestly. And they just came out with a watermelon flavor and I just finished the fruit punch. So I'm gonna try the watermelon tomorrow. I really love watermelon flavored anything. It kind of goes along with the lip balms. I really did like the fruit punch flavor. It kind of reminds me of the fruit punch Capri Sun that I used to drink as a kid all the time. It tastes really good if you like fruit punch stuff. So I'm excited. I'll let you guys know how that tastes tomorrow. Okay, I'm about to shower and get ready for bed, but I'm gonna make some bone broth. I just take a little cup like this. I fill it up about that high. And then I heat it up in the microwave until it's like warm or hot. I'm gonna add some turmeric and some black pepper to activate the turmeric into it and then sip on this. Just something great for digestion. You can honestly drink it first thing in the morning before you go to bed anytime. And I really like it and I feel like it works almost instantly with bloating. Kinda just tastes like broth, but I personally don't mind the taste or anything like that. I think it tastes fine. is such a mess but I'm going to take my car to get serviced this coming Friday because it's time for its yearly service it dinged at me like a few days ago to like get service done they'll definitely wash the outside when I take my car to get it serviced which is good but it's the next day Christian's upstairs watching the seven hours of commercial free football and I'm about to head hold on and I'm about to head to the grocery store to just grab a few things for for me for the week. Um, for like breakfast and snacks and stuff since I'll be home. But I'm thinking about filming a week in my life at home um, this coming week. Hopefully I hear back from a job. Just hopefully I get hired. Um, I'm going to be applying to jobs and kind of just chilling at home. Um, I obviously try not to do a lot while I am unemployed because I obviously don't want to be spending money that I don't necessarily have to spend. It's just going to be like a week of my life at home. So since I do have the time to be vlogging and editing and uploading videos, I might as well just take advantage of this time that I do have to do that and create that content and put it out there for you guys and for YouTube. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be doing that, but I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I just went off the phone with my siblings. Um, my family is just, it's unique, I guess. My dad's 80th birthday, yes, 8-0. 80th birthday is um, coming up, it's next month. So we were figuring out stuff like that and I'm not gonna go into detail because my dad watches my YouTube videos and I don't wanna share too much information because I don't want him to know. But I just got off the phone with them. I have two older siblings that are, are they in their 60s? No, they're in their 50s. They're in their 50s. Um, so my dad's 80, I have two, I have an older brother and an older sister, they're half. We have the same dad, but we don't have the same mom. And I was on the phone with them. Funny thing is, is I actually have a nephew that is a year older than me because my dad remarried to my mom and then my older sister got married and had a kid before my mom and dad had me. So it's just like a funny, unique family, which I love. But yeah, so we were planning my dad's 80th birthday. I can't believe he's 
gonna be turning 80. It's like such a big birthday. But we're gonna do like, we're gonna do something fun. But yeah, so I just got off the phone with them for that. And um, yeah, now I'm going to the grocery store and just hanging out for the day. I just got home from Publix and I popped down the little soda aisle where they keep the poppies. And I saw that Publix now carries the cherry limeade flavor, which you only used to be able to get this flavor at Target and then they brought it to Amazon and then I just checked the Publix aisle because sometimes they have certain flavors and sometimes they don't. And I wanted to grab one and I saw that they had the cherry limeade, so I got two of cherry limeades. And these are my favorite. Honestly, all of them are really good. But this is probably one of my top flavors. So I'm excited. Hello. I've just been laying here for the past few hours. I caught up on Julia and Hunter's vlogs, Julia and Hunter Havens. Their vlogs are really long, so I always save them and then watch them like when I have a few to watch. So it's like 6.30 now. Football's been on all day. And um, yeah, I just like decided to lay in bed for some reason. And I've just been laying here. We're probably about to cook some dinner. I think we're just gonna cook an easy Trader Joe's meal. I can't wait to take my makeup off. My face is so like dry and peely and coming off because I've been like so good about my skin cycling and I mentioned it a few vlogs ago and just it's like peeling all around my chin and like my mouth area. It's like coming off, like peeling off almost. I know it's kind of gross, but skin cycling really, really works. It's crazy and it's not like so irritated because you're continuously like doing like all of those harsh acids or retinols or retin-a's you're giving your skin that two-day break after and it's coming off just and it's not like red irritated skin that's like underneath it because you're just continuously using harsh products so i think that's why it works so well but okay it's a lot later it's a little bit after 7 30 i'm about to cook a really easy Trader Joe's meal, by no means healthy, but it's just something easy that we keep in the freezer for nights like this when we haven't pulled out anything and we don't wanna go out to eat. So I'm about to cook this up and I'm probably gonna end off this vlog here because I'm gonna start a week of my life tomorrow. I look really sleepy, but I just wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog here. We're gonna eat dinner and I'm gonna shower, take off my makeup and um, relax for the rest of the night and go to bed and wake up and pick up the camera tomorrow and take you through a week in my life so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye